Nam and the magical world. Curious Nam found a talking snail in the forest and gently held it in his palm, fascinated by this unique discovery. Suddenly, the snail opened its eyes and said, Hello, my name is B. Would you like to visit my world? Nam was surprised. He didn't know what to say. B smiled and said, Don't worry, I'll help you. B touched Nam's forehead, sending a surge of blue light through him, transporting him to a magical place. This world was full of amazing things. Nam met talking animals, walking trees, and floating castles. In the magical world, Nam helped a lost rabbit, rescued a princess from a witch, and competed in a boat race. Nam's adventures taught him to trust his imagination, never give up and embrace new experiences. Nam, intrigued by a strange light emanating from a ground hole in the forest, approached to investigate. Nam touched the light and was pulled into the hole, awakening in a completely new place. In this new world, Distinct from the magical realm, Nam encountered a futuristic setting with skyscrapers, flying cars, and talking robots. Nam adapted to a modern world, navigating underground city tunnels and aiding malfunctioning robots, earning respect and gratitude. Nam matured and became more self-reliant learning to trust his instincts and value compassion. He defended a child from bullies, earning peer admiration. Nam, ready to return home on Bai's message, bid a bittersweet farewell to his new friends and the modern world, eager to reunite with his family. Nam returned home sharing tales of his adventures, inspiring wonder, and displaying his new confidence, kindness, and resourcefulness. After his journeys, Nam matured into a confident, creative individual, valuing simplicity, family warmth, nature's beauty, and often reflecting on his adventures and their lessons. During a forest walk, Nam found a green snail, reminiscent of his first meeting with Bai. He thanked the snail, acknowledging Bai's role in his growth. The snail opened its eyes and looked at Nam. There's nothing to thank me for, it said in a soft voice. That's what friends are for. Nam felt warmth, sensing Bai's presence and vowing to care for his friends as he tenderly returned the snail to its leaf. Nam walked on, embracing life's adventurous nature, ready for the future with the courage, kindness, and imagination gained from his journey. Ella and the Enchanted Forest Ella loved exploring the woods near her home, but one day she stumbled upon a path she'd never seen before. The path led to a magical forest filled with sparkling trees and colorful flowers. Ella felt like she had entered a fairy tale. As she wandered deeper, Ella heard a rustling sound. She turned and saw a talking squirrel named Nutty. 
Nutty introduced Ella to his friends. Fluffy the rabbit and Hoot, the wise old owl. They welcomed her warmly. The animals showed Ella around their home. They lived in harmony, caring for the forest and each other. But their happiness was threatened. Nutty explained that a dark cloud was spreading, harming the trees and plants. We need your help, Ella, said Hoot. You are brave and kind, and we believe you can help save our forest. Ella agreed to help. They needed to find the source of the dark cloud and stop it. They set off on their quest. They crossed rivers and climbed hills. With each step, they grew closer and braver. Finally, they reached a dark cave. Inside, they found the source of the dark cloud, a grumpy old troll named Grumble. Why are you spreading this dark cloud? asked Ella. Grumble explained that he was lonely and sad. Ella had an idea. Come with us, Grumble. Let's find a way to make you happy without hurting the forest. Grumble agreed. He followed them back to the heart of the forest, where the sun was shining brightly. The animals held a special welcome party for Grumble. They played games, shared stories, and laughed together. Grumble's heart warmed. He realized he didn't need to be lonely anymore. He had new friends who cared for him. As Grumble's heart lightened, the dark cloud disappeared. The forest was bright and beautiful once more. Ella felt proud. She had helped save the forest and made a new friend. She knew she would visit often. The forest animals thanked Ella for her bravery and kindness. They knew they could always count on her. Thank you for helping us, Ella, said Nutty. You're always welcome in our enchanted forest. Ella waved goodbye to her friends, knowing she had discovered a magical place and made memories to cherish forever. Mai's Bedtime Flight Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Mai who lived in a small house. Mai was a curious and adventurous girl who loved to imagine. One day, Mai was playing in her room when she saw something strange. Her bed suddenly sprouted wings and flew up into the sky. Mai followed her bed through the sky, gazing at the fluffy white clouds and twinkling stars. She smiled and waved. Finally, her bed landed in a magical world. This world was made of everyday objects, like sofas, chairs, and dressers. Mai met many new friends in this magical world. She befriended the sofa, the chair, and the dresser. Mai and her friends went to many exciting places in the magical world. They went to the forest, the desert, and the ocean. Mai and her friends faced many challenges on their adventures. They had to cross wide rivers, climb towering mountains, and more. Finally, Mai's adventure came to an end. She had to return to her own world. Mai 
climbed onto her bed and hugged her pillow. She closed her eyes and wished she could go back to the magical world. Suddenly, Mai felt a cool breeze blow past her. She opened her eyes and found herself in a familiar place. Mai looked around and saw that her bed had returned to normal. She ran outside and saw her mother standing in the kitchen. Mai told her mother about her magical adventure. Her mother was amazed and excited for Mai. Mai smiled and said that she was so happy to have made new friends and had wonderful experiences in the magical world. Mai continued to live and play with the everyday objects in her house. She always remembered her magical adventure and was grateful for her good friends. One day, Mai was playing in the living room when she saw a white rabbit hopping on the sofa. Mai was curious and ran over to see. The rabbit stopped hopping and looked at Mai. Hello, little girl, it said. I'm White Rabbit. I'm here to find you. Mai was surprised. Me? Why? she asked. I'm your friend from the magical world, White Rabbit said. I'm here to tell you that the magical world is in danger. An evil witch has come to the magical world and kidnapped your friends, White Rabbit said. I have to help them, Mai said, determined. Thank you, little girl, White Rabbit said. We must hurry to the magical world. Mai and White Rabbit climbed onto the bed and closed their eyes. The bed flew up into the sky and took them to the magical world. The Invisible Adventures of Lucy Introduce Lucy, a bright and kind-hearted girl who discovers she can turn invisible. Lucy first realizes her power when she turns invisible accidentally while playing hide and seek. At first, Lucy feels scared and confused but soon understands the potential of her new ability. Lucy decides to use her power for good deeds, helping her friends without them knowing. She helps her friend Max find his lost dog by following it invisibly and guiding Max to it. Lucy assists her neighbor, Mrs. Jenkins, by secretly weeding her garden. She also helps at school by cleaning up a spilled paint unnoticed, preventing an accident. Lucy feels happy seeing the joy and relief her actions bring, even if no one knows it's her. One day, Lucy hears about a challenge at the local animal shelter they need help. The shelter is in disarray, and Lucy spends the whole day organizing it invisibly. She even plays and comforts the animals, who feel her presence and warmth. The shelter workers are surprised and grateful for the mysterious help. Lucy starts to understand the true joy of helping others, feeling an inner warmth. One day, her friend Sarah is sad about losing her favorite necklace. Lucy uses her invisibility to search and finally finds the necklace under a desk. 
she secretly places it where Sarah can find it, seeing her joy at finding it. Lucy realizes that kindness doesn't always need recognition to be fulfilling. The news of the invisible helper spreads, making everyone wonder and feel grateful. Lucy feels content, knowing she's made a difference in her own special way. The story ends with Lucy continuing her invisible adventures, spreading kindness wherever she goes. Cinderella's Adventures on a Desert Island Cinderella strolls through the forest when a storm brews suddenly, the tranquility shattered by thunder. The storm's fury casts Cinderella adrift, and she finds herself shipwrecked on an unknown island's shore. Regaining consciousness, Cinderella feels fear and confusion realizing she's alone on an unfamiliar island. Driven by survival, she discovers fresh water and food, finding a small glimmer of hope. As night falls, Cinderella finds a cave offering shelter and a safe haven from the wilderness. With daylight, she explores the island's landscapes, white sands, and a mysterious mountain. A talking bird befriends Cinderella, promising to teach her the island's secrets. Cinderella learns essential survival skills, like fishing and collecting rainwater, guided by her feathered friend. A close encounter with a bear teaches Cinderella to protect herself using wit and courage. Discovering a beehive, she carefully tastes its honey, savoring the sweet flavor of nature's gift. Cinderella crafts jewelry from seashells, finding joy in the beauty around her. Immersed in nature's splendor, she weaves a floral crown, embracing her role as the island's queen. Despite her newfound strength, she yearns for her family and her love, dreaming of their reunion. Cinderella builds a raft, fueled by the hope of returning to her beloved ones. Braving the open sea, she sets off on her raft, driven by the promise of home and love. Spotting a ship on the horizon, she signals frantically, her heart swelling with hope. The ship, bearing the royal flag, approaches, and the prince dives into the water to rescue his beloved. Aboard the ship, Cinderella shares her tale of survival, earning the prince's awe and a hero's welcome. As the island fades into memory, Cinderella reflects on the resilience and strength she gained. The kingdom celebrates her return. Cinderella emerges not just as a princess, but as a testament to the indomitable human spirit. The Little Mermaid's Adventure Cora is standing on a rock, looking out into the distance. She is very worried about her best friend Lily, who has gone missing. Lily is gone, and Cora doesn't know what to do. Cora decides to go find Lily. She starts swimming with the fish. She swims past colorful coral reefs and through mysterious caves. 
Cora encounters many dangers along the way. She has to swim away from giant squid, sharks, and other predators. Cora meets many different sea creatures along the way. She helps a lost snail and a stranded whale. Cora explores a shipwreck. She finds many valuable treasures on the ship, but she doesn't find Lily. Cora rides on the back of a whale to go farther. She travels to many different oceans, but she still can't find Lily. Cora swims through a school of jellyfish. She gets stung by one of the jellyfish, but she keeps going on her journey. Cora walks through a forest under the sea. She meets a wise octopus. The wise octopus points Cora in a direction. Cora continues on her journey, hoping to find Lily. Cora swims into a mysterious cave. The cave is very dark and deep, but Cora is not afraid. She keeps swimming forward, hoping to find Lily. Cora sees a mermaid swimming in the cave. The mermaid is very beautiful, with blue, sparkling fins. Cora is mesmerized by the mermaid. Cora swims towards the mermaid. She wants to talk to the mermaid, but she doesn't know how. The mermaid talks to Cora. The mermaid says, that she knows Lily. Lily is safe, Corelia says in a voice like tinkling bells, but she's trapped within the clutches of the sea witch Morwen in the deepest trench of the ocean. Cora's heart plummets. Morwen, the notorious sorceress who once tricked her father, King Triton? Fear creeps in, but Corelia's unwavering gaze quells it. Corelia reveals that Morwen has imprisoned Lily in a hidden underwater palace, guarded by monstrous creatures and powerful spells. To reach her, Cora must face challenges, unlike anything she's encountered before. Corelia hands Cora a seashell that pulsates with a warm light. This will guide you, she says. Remember, Cora, courage and kindness are your greatest weapons. With a final squeeze of Cora's hand, Corelia disappears into the darkness. The closer she gets, the more oppressive the aura of the palace becomes. She can almost hear Lily's muffled cries for help echoing through the water. Cora slips past the krakens and into the palace, the seashell guiding her through labyrinthine corridors and past lurking dangers. In a dazzling burst of light, Cora destroys Morwen's magic the chamber bathed in a warm glow. Lily tumbles free from her bubble, tears streaming down her face as she calls out, Cora! Cora and Lily's friendship shines brighter than any pearl as they embrace, their laughter echoing through the water. Together, they swim out of the palace, stronger than ever the rising sun painting their path with hope. Lonnie's Sparkling Journey Once upon a time, there was a small unicorn named Lonnie. Lonnie lived in a lush green field with his family. Lonnie was a very lovable unicorn with white fur and a golden horn. Lonnie loved his family very much 
but he always longed to travel far to explore the world. Lonnie wanted to meet new friends and experience new things. One day, Lonnie decided to leave his family to set out on a journey to explore the world. Lonnie's parents were sad, but they also understood his desire. They wished him luck and hoped to see him again soon. Lonnie began his journey. He traveled through lush green fields, towering mountains, and dense forests. One day, Lonnie was walking down a dirt path when he met a flying bird. The bird was very beautiful, with colorful feathers and a long beak. Lonnie and the bird started talking. The bird told Lonnie about his travels. Lonnie was very interested in the bird's stories. Lonnie and the bird became friends. They flew together through the clouds. Lonnie felt very happy to have a new friend. One day, Lonnie and the bird were flying over a river when they saw a fish in trouble. The fish was stuck in a net. Lonnie and the bird quickly dove into the water to help the fish. They used their horns and hooves to cut the net. The fish was very grateful to Lonnie and the bird for helping it escape the net. It leaped into the air and sprayed water to show its appreciation. Lonnie, the bird, and the fish became friends. They swam together in the cool river. One day, Lonnie and the bird were swimming in the river when they met a hippopotamus. The hippopotamus was very large and dangerous. Lonnie and the bird were terrified. They quickly swam as fast as they could to run away from the hippopotamus. Lonnie and the bird climbed up a tree to avoid the hippopotamus. The hippopotamus couldn't climb the tree, so it gave up and went away. Lonnie and the bird were very happy to have escaped the hippopotamus. They feasted on delicious fruit from the tree. Lonnie and the bird continued their journey. They traveled to many places and met many new friends. One day, Lonnie and the bird arrived at a rainforest. They were amazed to see the vast array of strange and wonderful animals and plants. Lonnie and the bird were exploring the rainforest when they met a playful monkey. Lonnie, the bird, and the monkey became friends. They played and laughed together in the rainforest. Lonnie, the bird, and the monkey were sad to say goodbye to each other. They promised to meet again someday. Time to sleep. Good night.